So here we go. Again. Yes. I, I feel so out of practice. What is this podcast thing you speak of? I didn't speak of a podcast thing. I just started recording. Well, you spoke of it at some point in time. Yeah, probably today, earlier, and we discussed the possibility of recording after a three-week hiatus. <laughs> has it been that long? It has. Time flies. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and I was thinking, maybe just one more week. <laughs> but it may be three more weeks if we don't do it now. Yeah, so this is testing on on tonight's podcast one. This one, the yeah. what we're dealing with right yeah, now. Yeah, what we're dealing with currently. Uh, and then we'll have this one as an in-between, and then the we'll, we'll have record a another up. one when we're out of the woods. Yeah. We're going into the woods. It's going to be a grand adventure. Why don't you join us? Yes, but not to grandmother's house. No, no. And we're not going to talk to any, you know, Big pointy, pointy-eared <laughs> animals <laughs> on the way. <laughs> it behooves me to hear that. It what now? <laughs> it behooves. It behooves you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Claw my way into that one. Yes. <laughs> I, I think we have sufficiently um, tested that word is tested. The, <laughs> the sound quality. I think we're good to go. I'm registering sound on my end. Are you registering sound on my end? Yes, and they seem pretty similar, so that's this is this is a good setup. Well, yeah, we're across the room from each other, which will explain that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will. Yes, we will. Um, so I, I guess we're ready to do this. Yes. Welcome to We'll, we'll figure, figure It Out. out. Today on We'll Figure It Out, we are going to discuss quarantine. Also known as domestic social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name for this podcast, domestic social distancing. I love it. <laughs> Good one, honey. <laughs> So, um, for those of you who might be just joining us, we would like to do a little intro into our podcast. I am Dee. I'm Jeremy. We have been married for nearly four years now. Uh, this is my second marriage. Mm-hmm. This is not my second marriage. <laughs> this is my fourth. <laughs> but I'm only the third wife. <laughs> you figure that one out. <laughs> And um, we both have three children, biological to ourselves. Yep, all of them are boys. And we blended our family. We blended them, blended them real good. <laughs> we tried anyway, <laughs> and we have a whole podcast on that one. So uh, anyway, so we talk about the different things we have to figure out in our life because there's a lot when you have six children. Two adults with full-time jobs, a house, animals, mm-hmm. cars, bears. Yep. Oh, my. Uh, you didn't tell me about the bears. <laughs> the bears. <laughs> I guess I forgot about the telling you of the bears. Whoops. Yeah. Sorry, honey. We're going to get some bears. No, we're not. We're not <laughs> beers, at all. Beers. Beers. You, you said it wrong. Beers. <laughs> You can't have any. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot. So um, we, you know, thank you for joining us here on our podcast. And we hope that you will learn something today. And you're going to learn about how we quarantined domestically and why. <laughs> <laughs> or in the process thereof, yeah. currently. We are currently in the process of quarantine. So um, one of my said biological children had a headache for three days did not put two and two together that that's not normal well i mean it's not normal for him but i thought he was just dealing with sinus issues because he does have allergies and we live in south louisiana and it's allergy season and then the other day i was like so son 
did any of your friends that you've seen recently test positive for COVID? And he's like, oh, yeah, so-and-so did. I'm like, when's the last time you saw them? Oh, on Tuesday. And I'm like, oh, thanks for telling me, son. So when I, when I found out that he had been exposed, I immediately made an appointment for him to be tested because the headache for three days kind of tipped me off and he was positive. So um, this is a reminder for all of you who have children who go out in the world and they don't necessarily, you don't necessarily talk to the other children's parents on a regular basis because they're teenagers to remind your children to let you know if they learn of their friends becoming positive after they visited with them. So that's tip number one. <laughs> Especially with us in this area, in this New Orleans area, we're having a very high surge of COVID cases. So, yeah. Yep. So, yeah. So there was that. Uh, and that's what we're currently dealing with and our domestic uh <laughs> social distancing was because this morning this morning d woke up also not feeling well um i'm not gonna say that i'm not going to get it but i do have a relatively decent you know immune system on me and i i have a tendency within the last you know 20 years i can count on one hand how many times i've gotten like truly sick uh, but, uh, we're taking this kind of seriously here. So recently my oldest son got his own place and moved out. So we had one room. I won't, not going to say it's an extra room because well, it was now going to be the office. Uh, so my wife left me and moved into this room. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always did say that if we ever needed to get a divorce, we would just become roommates. But did we really need to get a divorce over this? No. I don't know. It depends on how you handle the whole thing. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's more inclined to deal with this much better than I am. Um. Uh, yeah, so the aptitude take over the the old room mm -hmm. for now while we domestically social distance so everybody in the house has their own room that they can hide away in and keep away from other people well, jonathan wants cashmere in his meds i guess he's going to sleep okay so i guess we should pause this yeah let me pause we shall return in uno momente or three we were at um, me leaving you. I don't know, honestly. We were talking about how I took over the, the office slash Colin's old room. Yeah. And so this more well, the, the thought process behind that is we only have one full functioning bathroom, and that's in our master suite. Yes. And, yeah, because for the past – over two months now, <laughs> we've mm -hmm. been remodeling the hall bathroom upstairs, which has been primarily me doing the work. And with everything else going on in life, I only get to work on it, you know, yep. here and there. Uh, so, I mean, we're we're in the we're in the direction of finishing it. I mean, we're beyond the halfway point at this point. Yeah, but. You know, I've only got one layer of mud done on the sheetrock. I need to do the second layer, then prime, then paint, and yada, yada, yada. So this 10-day quarantine, if you don't get sick, is going to be a blessing. Right. So and which leads us into... <laughs> so guidelines basically put us as needing 10 days of quarantine. Mm -hmm. Which means that the two people that work outside of the house <laughs> won't be working outside of the house for the next 10 days that would be jeremy and sam my oldest right so <clears throat> so i'll be home yep and hopefully by the time all is said and done <laughs> the bathroom will be finished too i'm praying you don't get sick so you can 
finish that because I know that's weighing on you. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm concerned about getting COVID, but I also have been trying to take, you know, preemptive steps to boost my immune system and, you know, help my body fight it Mm -hmm. because I really do feel like I have it. Um, just because I was in the car with Jonathan for so long when he was having symptoms, I just have a feeling that it's inevitable that I got it. And I tend to pick up everything my kids get. It's just my immune system is not as strong, I guess, as Jeremy's. So I will be going to get a test tomorrow is Monday. So Mm -hmm. we're recording on a Sunday. So I, I will know the results by the time this goes out. Um, and, uh, hopefully I am of sound body and mind enough to edit this and get it out. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so before I go back to work, I'm going to need to get be tested. So, uh, oh, did they say that you have to get a test? Before well, you go back? yeah, you have to. Okay. Um, so I will. We're starting today would be day one. Mm -hmm. So yesterday would be day zero. So day one, which would put me back at work 18th or 19th. So if this is day one. Today is the 8th. Yeah. It would be the 18th, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know. And I have to reschedule Samuel's driving test as well. Yeah. He was scheduled for the 16th. And I have a ton of appointments that I had scheduled for next week that i need to reschedule so <clears throat> so i guess maybe i should schedule a test now for the day before for the, the 18th, day before the 17th yeah yeah i would because the appointments are only going to get fewer and far between as more people get exposed yeah that's probably a good <clears throat> idea so hopefully. i don't know if they schedule them out that far though you may have to look like two days before I don't know. I'll yeah. find out. I'll I didn't try to go past <laughs> yesterday. It said, uh, I didn't try to go further out to get a test. I was like, as soon as possible, get a test. So there was none available today. So between Urgent Cares, CVS, and Walgreens, we couldn't find anybody available today. All the test appointments were booked. Yeah. You know, symptoms-wise, I have a mild cough. I have a tiny bit of a runny nose. S- throat is kind of scratchy. It's not really sore, but it's scratchy. Um, started with a headache a little while ago. So, pretty much sums up the COVID. I can still taste, thankfully. <laughs> so, so can I. <laughs> and for me, it's going to be more difficult unless I start getting the loss of taste and smell. Or you know, an unusual sinus thing happening, that kind of thing. I don't know that you really know how you're going to respond to COVID. Right, until you but I'm, I'm just saying, though, because, like, for me, typically it's not unusual. I, I suffer every so often from migraines, and I have a tendency to be able to catch them early on. Like, as soon as I have that little sense, I, I nip them in the bud, yeah. um, you know, BC powder, etc., and something like that. You know, whatever is going to be a strong kicker medicine. Well, you can only do acetaminophen right now because you can't do any ibuprofen at all with COVID. Mm, no, the acetaminophen, the Excedrin and mm-hmm. BC is acetaminophen, aspirin, caffeine. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I just, I, I don't yeah. know what, I just, I'll, I usually take ibuprofen for everything Mm -hmm. so i have to remind myself not to take it which reminds me i need to get uh baby aspirin or uh, children's aspirin oh in case noah well no not just in case noah but um it was recommended that you take it oh okay because it helps keep blood thin so if you're like sitting Mm -hmm. around too much you may possibly with with covid it's been noted that there's more possibility of blood clots okay 
So the and that's another reason that the well, and the doctor recommended that you make sure that you get up and and walk around and not let the fluid mm-hmm. settle in your lungs as as well. So right. um, I've been running up and down taking care of Jonathan. We have a two story house because as far as long as I am able physically to do that, I wanted to take that burden off of Jeremy. So <clears throat> if I do get out of commission, he has, you know. Jonathan is probably going to be need less care and he's quarantined in his room. So, Mm -hmm. you know, which I think is a possible saving grace for me is that, you know, I don't get as much exposure to Johnny as D does because, well, of course, you know, I'm out of the house most of the time working or whatever. When I'm home, there's a lot of times I don't even know that Johnny's home. True. Because, you know, he's... A teenager stuck in his room. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, if I were to contract it, it would more than likely be by way of D or one of the other kids. Mm-hmm. Neither one of the other kids is showing symptoms. Not yet, no. So, um, but regardless, in the house currently, we are taking whatever precautions we can. Mm-hmm. We are masking up in the house. Mm-hmm. Um we are currently six feet away, oh, so I think we're greater than six feet probably away. Probably eight to ten at this <laughs> at this point. Um, for the first time ever, we are actually separated during our podcast. We're in the same room, however, we are at opposite ends of the room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is one of those times when I wish I would have went and grabbed the longer mic cable because oh, this yeah. kind of makes me nervous. Well, 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 I can scoot over. <laughs> There you go. There you go. You got it looks like another inch. Looks like we've got, you know, power lines between phone <laughs> poles here dangling with the microphone cable. Well, it's a good thing nobody's coming in here. Nobody's going to trip over it, so we're good. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the community areas where everybody traverses through, you know, we've got the antibacterial wipes. We have the homemade wipes that we've got that we've made when when COVID first hit and you could not find any cleaning products whatsoever mm-hmm. now we found the formulation of what would be the equivalent of about a, a clorox wipe yeah so we have that that he made like a gallon of stuff and that lasted us a good few months um when we needed them regularly with the height of the initial pandemic and now that we have covid infection in the house we're being diligent about wiping behind um, my, the ones that, you know, either are confirmed or suspected to be positive. So there's that. So as far as the figuring out thing for this podcast. Yeah. Okay. So we have a couple of things we've already figured out. Mm-hmm. Okay. We already know that it's regardless of who is feeling well or not feeling well in the house, it's going to be taxing on whoever as far as trying to maintain most of the other house functions and dinners and stuff like that so we made the executive decision this morning that um everybody gets tv dinners this uh this (laughs) can we call that trailer park menu planning (laughs) is that is that that kosher can i say that (laughs) hey now many uh, affluent residents eat tv dinners okay i guess (laughs) <laughs> my assumption there is no facts yeah. to base that on but anyway <laughs> oh my gosh i don't know i don't we, know it just reminds me of you know tv shows with people that live in t- trailer parks that eat tv dinners you know i i don't know why so. but you know you can't find them in aluminum trays anymore where you have to put them in the oven and you know. no it's all plastic in microwave right or you can put the plastic into the oven at a specific temperature and you have to put it on a, you know, oven safe pan Tray and all that. And all that. Stuff. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah, we even got pot pies. I uh, I really want one of those, but it'll probably hurt too bad to eat it. Because of my liver. And one of the one of the things I was supposed to do this week was to get repeat blood work for my liver. So, Ooh. <laughs> yeah can't do that right now and next week was supposed to be my fibro scan so 
Oh. Yep. <sighs> so that'll be prolonged. You know, I, I'm always of the thought that everything happens for a reason. And. Oh, and there's a reason for everything. So, um, there's silver lining in here somewhere. We'll figure it out. Silver lining is we get the bathroom done. Right, hun? Yeah. As long as I don't get sick. As long as you don't get sick. I'm going to cross my fingers and pray to all the gods. Yeah. All the ones that'll listen. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll see about recruiting Sam for helping out in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. See how well that works out in close proximity. The bathroom is very small. It is. It is. And it could be a matter of you saying, here, do this, you know, and then coming back to check what he's done. You know, he yeah. can do the second coat on all the nail areas <laughs> for sure. That's super easy. Hasn't he done sheetrock patching before? He has done some. Yeah. He did the patches in, in his room. Yeah. Speaking of that. He never did paint it. No, he didn't. And Jonathan has a hole in his wall behind his door. How? Good question. I'll have to ask him one day. He probably slammed his door into his wall. Because he's aggravated with it. Which, after we get the bathroom done, we really need to get those two doors replaced. I don't think I can handle more slamming of the door because he's aggravated because he doesn't feel well and can't deal with the stress of life and not being able to close his door all the way. Yeah. <laughs> I caramba. So we've, we've figured out how we quarantine. We figured out how we're going to eat during quarantine. And I, I'm pretty sure that everyone will be uh, entertained by either screen time or bathroom renovation <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how exactly entertaining <coughs> that is per se. <laughs> but if it comes time to it if he's healthy enough to be able to get that vanity up with me well vanity actually shouldn't be too bad because i can take it up in two pieces yeah take the top off of it hopefully not break this one <laughs> yes but it would be okay if you asked for help and you got someone to help you do it instead of killing yourself well, i'm just saying though if it's taken up in two pieces it'll be easier for two people oh for sure oh yeah no instead of it won't be like the tub right video coming soon <laughs> <laughs> on the youtube channel oh my gosh that was a mess is that video completely edited um it's close it's close it's i may be able to get it out this week but i may schedule it for next week so it gives me more time to do other stuff i don't know i don't know because i'm still going to be working as long as i'm physically able and i'm physically able but won't be working <laughs> right i know <laughs> it's, the, it's like why why <laughs> yeah i have so much money sitting so at much the shop. money at, in the shop right now and oh. I <laughs> i'm sorry honey it's the world we live in today and we have lots of offers of friends and family that are willing to do porch drops for us. And I figure, you know, if we wind up all getting sick, we may need to, you know, take advantage, take of, advantage that. of that. So I'm waiting until we're, you know, if we're at the most desperate moments, you know, <clears throat> to take advantage of those offers. So it's very bring, bring food and hard liquor, <laughs> which I can't drink. Oh, <laughs> so. Oh, but is there is there anything else we need to figure out with this quarantine thing? Like, I know we have an emergency fund. It's not a whole lot of money. No, but we do have the medical HSA. Oh, that's right. That we've that we've met are out of pocket max so right. we won't need and the rest of this year and we've never actually even taken out of the hsa even we, when we paid the bigger bills so we right. kind of have that as a little reserve little reserve we do not have much in the month bills thing because we're still trying to build that 
Yeah, and then <clears throat> our buffer had got eaten this month. <laughs> devoured. <laughs> <laughs> then the word is devoured. Yeah, I looked at our bank statement, our bank account the other day, the balance, and I'm like, honey, is this right? And he's like, mm, yeah, it is. I'm like, wow, I haven't seen it that low in a really long time. Yeah. Well, you know, we had some stuff and things. Yeah. And the bathroom remodel has really done us in because we haven't taken out a savings to do the remodel, so we've been using what's on hand. Yeah. And, you know, getting by with it. Yeah. So. It's just been a little tight because we've been doing that, but it's been, it's been working so far. So, you know, that's, that's the thing. We put the money aside, but we also try not to use it. So yeah. if we really needed to take some money, we could take some money from there also. Yeah, but I hate taking out a savings because, well, I'm a cheap bastard. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> frugal, honey. It's called frugal. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then, you know, we have the the monthly whatever that is, tax thing that we're going to get, right? Oh, yeah, the tax credit right now. The tax credit. How long is that supposed to last? Uh, six months. So oh, we get, yeah. yeah, we did July. So it's going to be July through December. Okay. And then we're also stockpiling money into a fund to pay taxes because we know we're going to owe quite a yes. bit this year. Yeah. So we're getting it now, but we'll pay it back later. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's kind of a mess. Our finances are all over the place right now. No, they're just in the one bank. (laughs) (laughs) Within four accounts? Five, six? I don't know. know. So many. (laughs) You had, what, 15 accounts or something like that that's attached to yours? (laughs) Yes. I have so many accounts because I have my account and I had an account that I had... That I used to stick my bill money in just to make sure I didn't spend it when I was single because I was very bad at keeping track of stuff because, I don't know, ADHD or something. And then I would forget, oh, man, I forgot I had that bill and I didn't get to pay it because I spent the money on this. Blah, blah, blah. So I would always take my bill money and put it in a different account. That way it was always there. And so um, anyway, so I have that one still, which I'm kind of using for some business stuff right now. And then I have my personal checking account, and then I have a savings account for all of the children, and two of my children have checking accounts now. Mm. And I have a savings account. <laughs> Do I have a... I think I still have that savings you account, even th- though there's nothing in it. Right. You have three savings account total on yours for for you, not the boys. It's just the three... Are two joint and another one? Yeah. 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 So two of the savings account, one was my savings account that I added her to. The other one is her savings account that she added me to. Mm -hmm. So if we (laughs) try to pull up bank statements, we have to pull bank statements from both of us to get the joint stuff because (laughs) it's it's so convoluted. (laughs) Like, okay, the, the primary checking that we use is on me that I added her. (laughs) Mm -hmm. so if we want to see the primary checking stuff we've got to go to mine because the statements don't go on both people that have the The shared account the shared account it only goes to the primary account holder which is ridiculous yeah it's yeah because when we opened up that account i it wouldn't let me do a joint account to open up with online it was it only let me do it as me and then i had to add you yeah really blew my mind it made no sense yeah it doesn't because you know obviously this is not my first rodeo i've had to open up joint accounts before and (laughs) yeah (laughs) what has changed i don't know so there's that as far as keeping the kitchen going i know you had bought some paper plate so that'll help but i did ask samuel to load the dishwasher so i since he does have off of work I'm going to ask him to maintain that, which he needs to be reminded tonight to finish loading it and run it. And then as long as he's not sick and Noah's not sick, they can tag team unloading and loading. Yeah. 
Don't let me forget I need to pack away the food tonight and put it in the freezer. Yes, yes, because we are notorious for forgetting about stuff in the refrigerator and then me going, oh no, it's too late to put it in the freezer, we gotta dump it. And that's some grass-fed cow, so I don't want that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so I definitely don't want to lose that. I would have to say that if we could sum this episode up, it's we're in a muddle fuddle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a muddle fuddle kind of week. Yeah. I mean, I needed time off of work, but this was not what I was planning. <laughs> right. And I had actually requested off for this week and they weren't able to give me time off because of other people being out. So hopefully I'm able to work through it. <clears throat> yeah. That'd be one of us. Mm-hmm. I know. It, it is a benefit of being able to work from home, you know, but it's also a stress because I have to try and balance it all. Yeah. Still, I'm all at home, I'm all quarantined while taking care of sick kids and possibly being sick myself. So. Don't get sick. I'm pretty sure I am already sick. I'm not going to get sicker. I'm going to be mildly... Get unsick. Get unsick. <coughs> Poof, I'm unsick. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it worked that way. So what you're saying is you think that this podcast is a wrap. I mean, it's a short podcast, but, you know, I don't want to bore the people with nothing to say. Okay. We can record two episodes today, and we can have a longer podcast for the next week. So it'll even out. Because we have lots to say about our next topic. Or at least, you know, I do. Okay. Yeah. Jeremy does. I, you know, we'll maybe have some insight here. I think she I think she's got some to say about it too. It's just I'm going to say a lot about it. She's going to count words. She's going <laughs> to make sure that she gets like three more than me in. Mm-mm. No, I'm going to let the podcast <clears throat> be dominated by you. For the next episode. It's yes. going to be your car you're driving. Yes, for an unusual change of events. <laughs> the guy that, you know, usually stays over here kind of quiet and interjects things. You know, the funny guy. The straight man. I'm glad you're straight. That's not what that meant. <laughs> Family programming, family programming, family programming, <laughs> muddle fuddle. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> it's okay because earlier she said something and I, I had a response. It would have been something that sounded like Samuel L. Jackson. So. <laughs> uh, we could throw in a widget there and uh, then we can, you know. No, nah. now, now, now we've done changed the ratings on the podcast. <laughs> I don't even remember. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to write down what episode that was in because I can't remember which one it was in. So whenever we say widget, we can be like, if you don't know what we're talking about, go listen to this episode. So I will leave that. I will find it, and I will put the link down to it in the description. So. Oh, it must be saying you'll come home. Yeah, maybe. So, on that note, I'm done. I'm done. We're all done. Yes. What were you going to say? <laughs> what were you? I, I, think, I think that was Samuel saying something to us through the door. <laughs> Did he say he's done? <laughs> no, he said y'all are psychopathic. <laughs> psychopathic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. All right. <laughs> and that's it. That's a wrap. All right. Right. To join us on our next episode where we'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out.